Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be your reading for mid-November from the 15th to the 30th for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. And this is going to be a love reading. So let's see. What's the general energy around for Taurus? What's going on for Taurus? We have the Great Serving, Mars Energy, Anger, Conflict, Softening to Love. So you had a lot of anger that we're going to be working on here. Okay, on the bottom we have the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, what else do we have here for Taurus? Okay, we have Kuan Yin, care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved, offering a helping hand. And bottom here we have White Eagle, Ancestor Spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. Okay, something that happened in the family, this, um, it needs healing. It feels like, um, your inner child maybe too. Very strong energy coming off this White Eagle. I like him. Okay. What else do we have here? Clear, cancel, and release. So whatever is negative, to keep the positive energy, you got to say cancel, cancel, cancel. It's, you can say clear, cancel, release. I always say cancel, cancel, cancel. And it's a mother, father, God is underneath here. So this is the energy that you're looking up to the heavens for this energy to help you. Alrighty. So... Let's go on and see what's going on for Taurus here. Taurus in love. What's going on for Taurus in love? Taurus in love. Please. What's going on for Taurus in love? Okay, we have... Ooh, Ten of Pentacles right off the bat here. So your finances are doing really well, Taurus. But you are a Taurus. Okay, and we have crossing you. Okay, the Knight of Cups. So either you want to offer someone your cup of love or they want to offer their cup of love to you. And this could be um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Sorry, I'm, like, my, I'm getting stuck here. And um, so, but it just could be that energy. Not, it doesn't have to be that sign. Okay. And then we also have Queen of Pentacles. So definitely have a lot of money around you um you're doing really well with your money because you're coming off the queen of pentacles here that there's money around okay so and then we have the empress in the recent past so the energy of the empress so something comes coming to your power um also being um very fertile so with all this that you're manifesting or it's probably with this in the recent past something came in that you um, were able to manifest or you're very fertile or things are just going your way. Now crowning you, we have the Wheel of Fortune, so things are about to change. Destiny is also a divine timing card. Okay, and here we have, okay, and, and coming up, we have, you feeling stuck. Stuck in your thoughts more than anything. It's, um, got to get out of your head. You're really not trapped. You can get out of this. Okay, but we will clarify these cards. And also holding on to something too tight. Could be holding on to a person. They could be holding on to you. It could be holding on to your money too tight. Holding on to a job. Holding on to something really tight here. Okay, and then we have oops, someone from the past. So you might be reconnecting with someone from the past. Could be a friend. Could be someone that you went out with. Okay, and you also we're getting the um, nine, nine of... Um, pentacles that's a lot of money a lot of finance doing very well your finances and we have the king of wands so this could be aries um sagittarius or leo coming in for you very passionate very creative energy could be your energy that you know coming into that energy or it could be someone that you're going to be with here and then we have the underneath the bottom of the deck we have being victorious um coming to your glory celebrating this is um triumphant here nice all right Taurus let's see 
Can you clarify this? Ten of Pentacles, please. The card says Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay. I guess we got a couple. We have. You had a lot of burdens, and you had, a, and you're juggling a lot of things. But by doing all this, it brought in a lot of money. It seems. Okay. And then we have this Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here, please? Okay, we have competition. Okay, so either you're coming to bring your your cup of love to someone, they're coming to you, but there is competition for this love. Okay. Or there could be arguing too. Oop, and then for this here, we have justice. So the Queen of Pentacles. There's going to be justice. If there's some kind of money situation that um, you're working on, trying, you, oh, someone owes you money or, it's, or it's, you're waiting for money, there's going to be justice in this situation through your job, through... through uh, a divorce or um, uh, inheritance there's going to be justice okay and let's clarify the empress king of swords so this empress or you there's going to be truth here there's going to be a conversation or this just happened in the recent past that their um, conversation there's um Someone very intelligent it could be Aquarius, um, Gemini, or Libra. Recent past. Okay, and the Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please, for Taurus. Ooh, so the, you're, this is going to change. Where you felt um, this heartache that you're. I think your energy is going to change because here it's like we have this card. And it says, um, Mars energy, it says anger, conflict, softening to love. So that's why I think this is the changes here with the Wheel of Fortune. That you were angry before about something that happened in the past. And maybe you're going to find out something and, and you're going to see something differently. So, um, let me get another card in this, please. Yeah, so this is going to be... So something that ended is coming back to life. It's transforming. So, or you're transforming. Some, but something is changing. So, that's very nice. On the bottom we have the devil card here. But that might have been the holding on too tight. Addicted to someone. Okay, and then the eight of swords. Why is the eight of swords here, please? Clarify this eight of swords, please. Here, I just need a source. Magician. Here, you're getting yourself out of this. Whatever this film blocked, um, and you're, you know, you're changing that. So that's coming in, but you're going to be able to manifest right out of it. Because your energy is changing. You're, the Wheel of Fortune, once this Wheel of Fortune comes in, or whatever this change is taking place, and you're transformed, then you'll get out of that energy. That's the divine timing card. And then page of Pentacles. Yeah, so someone's offering you something or you're offering someone something. Um, it could be a gift. Maybe you're giving someone a gift or they're giving you a gift. Okay, and then why is the Six of Cups here, please? The star. This could be Aquarius. Or you're shining bright or something's happening in from the past, someone's coming in from the past, and um, it's going to be very nice. This is very healing energy. This could be a healer. But this is very healing. Do you feel very healed around this energy? Or are they around you? Okay. And why is this Nine of Pentacles here, please? The Nine of Pentacles here for Taurus. Ah, the High Priestess. So, the Empress here, we have the Pious Priestess. Now, this is secrets could be revealed. Something's coming out, and something, it could be secrets about money. 
something is being revealed here. So like here with when we have the Queen of there's something with money, I feel, in this energy. Um, that the justice is going to come out and also the secret is going to come out, whatever someone hid. And I'll call in that, please. For Taurus. Nine of Cups, yeah, so this is going to make you very happy. Okay, wish fulfilled. It's really weird, though. This energy in the, in the last two weeks of November feels more... I'm doing love readings, but a lot of these readings are like things have to be cleared. Things have to change. It's a job or something else has to be taken care of before this love comes in. But it's all making way for these new loves. Very interesting. Okay, now why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? So someone's moving away from something that comes to something. Something has to travel. It could be long distance. But this is definitely a card of movement. So someone's coming towards you or you're going towards someone. And it's very passionate person here. The King of Wands. Okay. No card in that case. One card on this outcome here. Queen of Swords. Yeah, speak the truth here. Someone, we have both the king and queen of swords. So I think when you do get together with this person, there's going to be a lot of um, conversation. And it's going to be um, a lot of truth coming out. I mean, that's why where secrets are revealed too over here. So there's definitely some kind of communication coming. And um, this is a you know, power couple. Both very intelligent. Okay, on the bottom, we said walking away from something. You're leaving something behind for, for something better. You're going to leave all these cups, and you're going to say, uh, I don't need that. It's not serving me well. I'm going to do something else. Okay, of course. Let's throw some more cards on this for you. Whoa! Two of Pentacles. Okay. Balancing things out. Making a decision. Um, if things were not equal... In the past, when balance, you're trying to balance things out now. Someone's trying to balance things out. Trying to figure things out. Make a decision. Maybe you have two job offers. You're trying to decide which one to take. Oh, we have the magician. Now we got the magician again. And you are manifesting. You're manifesting your nine cups. We're working very hard on this. And it's it's gonna pay off. Okay, what else do we have for toys, please? What else do we have for toys? What else do we have for toys, please? What else do we have for toys? Three of Wands, waiting for your ships to come in. It's coming. You're you're being very creative about it and you're manifesting something. It's coming. Divine timing. Wheel of fortune. Just gotta wait. What else do we have here for Taurus, please? What else do we have here for Taurus? Again, this person seems like they're waiting for something. They're standing guard. They're waiting. Very protective over this energy, too. It's like, <clears throat> it might be... It, it feels very... This card right now feels um, very sure that this is coming in. And very protective of it coming in. Watching for it. You want to be there when it shows up. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What else do we have? Six of Wands. Again. We have Six of Wands. Bond. Yeah, you're definitely going to be victorious. You're, things are working in your favor. With all this com competition, <coughs> everything else, you're going to end up being victorious in this. And the bottom, we have death and rebirth again. So definitely you're transforming this. Um, there's something transforming. It could be... It could be you bringing back a connection that we thought was long gone dead. And it isn't. It's coming back to life. Okay, let's throw some healing angels on this, please. For Taurus. No angels on this. 
freedom. Yeah, when you get through all this stuff, it's going to be freedom for you. You're going to feel so free and, um, and I want to say clear. I don't know why I want to say clear. I think free and, free and clear. Kind of weird, but okay, that's what's coming up. And um, we have surrender and release. And manifestation, yeah. Well, you have the magician here, the magician here. You're definitely manifesting. You're getting very good at that, too. And you got the nine cups, so definitely showing you manifesting. And, of course, we're getting this, um, wait, oh, yeah, the six of wands and six of wands here. Trust. Trust it's all going to happen. Don't. Don't put any negative thoughts out there because that will stop things from happening. Uh, and you have miracles on the bottom of this deck. So yeah, this is all happening. You are doing well. You got to keep your positive thoughts. Um, and if you don't have a positive thought, clear, cancel, and release. Let the negative thoughts go because that's going to prevent things from happening. And you have so much strong energy here of transforming and the miracles, the manifestation, the trust, surrender, release, the freedom. It's its definitely here. This is this is coming. This is almost here. Just, it's got to come in divine timing. And it will. Just trust. And anytime you get a negative thought, just cancel, cancel, cancel. And think positive. Just, you know, fake it till you make it. Act like it's already here. Because the subconscious doesn't know. When you put things out there, you manifest everything by your thoughts. So... If you start thinking negatively, yeah, the universe can say, "Hey, yeah, that's what we gotta do. We gotta, we gotta not have this. No, we don't need that. No, we're not gonna get that. No, you gotta stay positive. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, so maybe this love life, love this love that's coming in from the past, it's someone's children are in. You know, this is a, involved in the decision to get together. Maybe." They're afraid of what the children are going to think or how that's going to affect them. Okay. That's not for everybody, just for some. Okay, what else do we have for Taurus? For second half November, love reading. Let your friendship help. Let your friends. Ugh, let your friends help you. Ask for, accept support from others. Okay. And then we have, very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so this is right around the corner, it feels like. Energy feels really strong for that. Just stay positive. Get one more card on this, please, for Taurus. <laughs> new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So some new love is going to come in here. And then we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, so that's not going to be for everyone, but some people that needed to hear that message. And we have the new love here. But we also have a past connection here. So it some people are going to have a new love. Some people are going to have some past. And some people, this new love is actually a past life connection. So, I mean, there's so many different people that this reading is for that it, it'll be different. So we'll see. It could be a past life. It could be a... It also for some of you it could be a that you are together in past life and in this life and you're coming back together too. Cause um, I feel the energy of some people that've been together in many past lives, and they are going to reconnect again. They were together this lifetime and they had to separate. Sometimes you just have to separate to grow and to come back together, and then you're any stronger and even better than before. Because you both have learned a lot on your own and you couldn't learn it by being together. You had to be separate in order to go through these lessons with other people or your, with your karmics that you had to be involved with. But, you know, that's the way it goes. And, you know, we can't control that. That's destiny. And if, you're, and if you're meant to be together again, you will. And if you're not, you won't. And we always have the freedom of choice. So here's a freedom you know, you could, someone comes to you and you can say, well, I really don't want to go back to this. That's your choice. And the same with them. So you always have that choice. 
And I hope you enjoyed this reading, Taurus. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if any of this resonates with you. I'd love to read it. Thank you.